Welcome back to tinygrads.com. I'm Miss Katie, and today we're going to do some botany. Can you guess what botany is? Hmm, is botany when you learn about plants? That's correct. Botany is the study of plants. Very good. Are you ready to get started? Great. Let's go. Plants are all around us every day. And they come in all different shapes and sizes. Some are very small, like the duckweed, which is only 0.3 millimeters. Others grow to be really big, like the coast redwood tree, which can grow up to 115 meters tall. Amazing! Plants can grow in nearly every environment on Earth, even in the hot desert or the frozen tundra. If the conditions are just right, some plants can live an amazingly long time. The oldest living plant right now is a Great Mason Bristlecone Pine Tree that is 4,844 years old. That tree is older than the Great Pyramids in Egypt. Even though plants can be very different, they share many similarities too. It all starts with a seed. When a seed is planted in the ground, with just the right amount of sunlight and water, it begins to grow. This is called germination. Eventually, roots grow down into the soil. These roots collect water and nutrients from the soil and also help to hold the plant in place. Once the roots begin to spread out, the stem of the plant grows upward till it breaks through the surface of the soil. Then, it continues to reach up toward the sun. Miss Katie, why do plants want to reach up to the sun? That's an excellent question. And the answer is pretty amazing. Plants reach toward the sun because they're hungry. Even though plants do not have mouths, they still need food. Plants make their own food in a process called photosynthesis. That's a long word, but it works like this. Inside the leaves of a plant is a green substance called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is what makes plants green. Now, plants don't eat by going through a drive through no, they don't eat like that. Plants make their own food by mixing this chlorophyll with sunlight, the water and nutrients gathered by the roots, and the carbon dioxide that people and animals breathe out. Now what's really amazing is that during photosynthesis, plants release oxygen, which we need to breathe. So you see, plants take in carbon dioxide and let out oxygen. We take in oxygen and let out carbon dioxide. It's a perfect combination. Some plants bear fruit that we can eat, such as apples or grapes. We can eat other parts of plants too, such as the leaves of lettuce, the roots of carrots, the seeds of corn, the stems of celery, and the flowers of broccoli. We use plants in so many amazing ways every day. We eat them. Mmm, plants. We use them to build houses and furniture. We make clothing with them. And even rubber tires and some kinds of medicines come from plants. Plants are our friends. They protect us, feed us, give us air to breathe, and make our world a beautiful place to live in. Now that's amazing. I hope you enjoyed being a botanist today with me and learning some amazing science facts about plants. Come on back to learn more amazing facts about our amazing world on tinygrads.com, the fun and safe learning place. Bye for now. Click on printout pages on tinygrads.com to print out a fun quiz about this video.